Hi guys, so I'm down at Las Rotas, which is at the end of the coast here in Denia, where I live. This is on the Mediterranean coast of Spain. And I've got with me this right here. It's a 4K drone, which can work at a depth of up to 100 meters. It's called the Gladius Mini. It's from a company called Chasing Innovation. They sent this loan unit out to me. So I've got a beautiful day here. It's pretty much always like this. The weather is amazing down at the coast. It is busy. It's peak season at the moment. There's a lot of tourists around, so hopefully I can get some footage. Now a drone like this is ideal for people that want to get footage, for example, snorkeling, divers, and you can also use it for sports, like free diving use would be ideal, I would say for that, but also practical use, uh, businesses perhaps, hull inspections for boats, pool inspections, other inspections where you don't want to have to send the diver down, then something like this is going to be ideal. So this is the spot I'm going to try first. You can see the coast along here, very nice, a little bit rugged, and there aren't too many waves. This is the spot just down there that I'm going to go. So I've got the tether connected up, as you can see, to the base station. So this is one of the annoyances of this drone. I mean, it's not all 100% wireless, which would have been great, but I guess when you're 100 meters down, there would be no way you could actually get the reception from the drone. You could end up losing control of it. So you can see the water, look how clear it is. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some really good footage. I'm looking forward to this. There are a couple people out there that are snorkeling, so I will stay away from there and I don't want to bother anyone. All right, so I'm all ready. I have the controller connected up with the Bluetooth and the phone itself with the application has connected up to the base station, which is running off wireless there. And you can see I've got the footage on my phone right now. That's my Huawei P30 Pro. So let's launch this and hopefully I don't slip into the sea in the process. So the drone here is really struggling with the current, with the waves, and I don't want to get myself tangled up here in the tether, as you can see. So the best way, a little tip here to bring it in, is to get visuals on the drone, is to just to surface it. Bring it up to the surface, you can see it, and then it's very easy then to just angle it towards you, and then full steam ahead to bring it back to you. So I'm going to bring this one in now, and it just seems that this kind of close to the shore, too close to the shore really, uh, you risk it being smashed up against the rocks. But not only that, it's just very unsteady, the footage. Really, it's good for lakes or deep sea, I would say. So I wasn't too happy with my first day's footage. There's just far too much movement from the current and the waves. So I'm here now at a freshwater spring. This is called La Font Salada. It's in Oliva, and I should be able to get some nice crystal clear footage here in this spring. Oh, and there's even some ducks around here with their little baby ducklings.
So that was really quite a fun review here for me to film and getting that footage. You can see that the lake was the best. Now I do like the fact that it's got the feature that you can get this drone right here to tilt up like this or down and it will hold it quite stable. I couldn't get it to work so well right here now on the coast because of those small waves. So if you're going to be recording in places like this where you're going to have currents, waves, then it's not going to be so great. It really probably could have a mechanical three axis gimbal inside there, inside the lens housing would help out with the stability of that footage. But when you saw in the lake though, I could get some really good footage of those fish, the crab as well. There was a bit of a current around and it's a little bit hard. So that is really dependent on what you're going to be doing with this particular underwater 4K drone here, the Gladius Mini. So if you intend to use this a lot on your snorkeling trips and you've got clear water, then it's going to be absolutely perfect. But it is expensive. So 1500 euros for this, you really have to think long and hard the kind of use you can get out of this. If you live in a good area where you've got clean, clear water, lakes to use this, you're a free diver and you've got pool work you're doing or something or you're training, then that is what this is really good for, I feel. But in, as mentioned, in the waves, mm, not so much there. So yes, the tether is a bit of a pain because it does get in the way a little bit. I wish we could just wind it up, but I can see why they've done what they've done with the tether. It's because it all fits in the backpack, which is handy. A great little drone here. Thank you so much for watching this review here. It's a little bit different for me. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now.